Let's talk about accessibility. We are going to begin with an example of poor accessibility, so please stay with us. Hello, my name is Justin Smith. I'm the CEO here at the Centre for Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Stop! Are you struggling to understand? Well, this is how many of our patients often feel. We must ensure patients get information in a way that they can understand and the communication support they need. In order to do this successfully, MBT should follow the Accessible Information Standard five steps. Step one, ask. We need to ask our patients, carers or parents what their communication needs are. I would prefer to have information given to me in an electronic format or in braille or actually just a simple phone call rather than um, print letters. I'm profoundly deaf and use British Sign Language. When I have an appointment for a doctor, I need a fully qualified, professionally registered BSL interpreter so we can effectively communicate. Step two, record. We must record this information on a patient's record. To do this on Careflow, you go to find the patient, go to add alerts and select the accessible information slash impairment alert. You then select the alert type. Let's go through a few examples. You may want to add a contact method and then select email to support someone who needs letters sent electronically. You may select interpreter required under the alert type and then write in the type of interpreter in the comments box. Or you might need to record contact format required as easy read. Step three, alerts. Now you have recorded the alert, you need to look out for them. When you search for a patient, their accessibility information alert will pop up. That pop-up will tell you the types of information or communication support needed. It is a good idea to go and look at the alert in full in case there are any comments, for example, the type of interpreter needed. The alert bar will be next to the patient's name so you can go back in and see the alerts. If you are looking at a list of patients, the alert may be less noticeable, so you will need to go through each one or check with your team on the process for this. Step four, share. Remember to share this information with other providers of NHS care, for example, as part of referral, discharge or handover. Make sure sharing is always done in line with any data sharing processes. Step five, meet. The final step is to meet the communication needs. You can go to link and search AIS or accessible communications to find support on how to meet different communication needs. Some things you can deliver straight away. For example, you can send the patients emails or you can book them a British Sign Language interpreter and instructions for this can be found on link. For other things, you may need support from other teams for example, when creating information in EasyRead. Please check link or email patientinformation at mbt.nhs.uk for support. You will also find information about in-person and e-learning training on accessible communications. Let's make sure we communicate with our patients properly. Thanks for watching.